Someplace quiet, one of the small canals. Right there. Okay, Alicia, you said a song. Yes. Now listen carefully. All right. La 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 la. La 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 la. That's perfect. Now two of us know it. It'll be safer that way. Crane to see you. Come in, see you. Crane to see view. Come in, see view. This is Crane. If you read me, don't speak. Just flash. Acknowledged. I'm in contact with Alicia. Leonetti was right. They'll try anything to stop us. You're taping me, of course. Good. First, Dr. Leonetti is dead. They hauled his body out of the Grand Canal. The police called it suicide. But Alicia has the information. Those tapes Leonetti sent are the defenses against their so-called ultimate weapon. We play the tapes, they're gibberish. Uh -huh. Alicia has the key. It's a tune. Feed the notes of the tune through the computer, and the sonic impulses will decode the tape. And she taught me the melody, but she's going to hum it to yourself. Stand by to tape it. Okay, go ahead. This is the tune. La 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 Richard Basehart, David Hedison, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea.
information on last night's brutal gondola murder. The victim, a beautiful young American tourist, was struck down by a blade with a poisoned tip. According to the statement of the gondolier, police believe her murderer was the same American who accompanied her aboard the gondola. sir. I want you to relay the following to the Office of Naval Intelligence. You ready? Dr. Leonetti is dead, but his tapes are aboard Seaview. Now, these tapes represent our defense against a new weapon system developed by the other side. The key to the tapes is a tune. Excuse me, sir. You said tune. That's right, a melody. Now, Captain Crane knows the melody, but he's trapped in Venice and framed with a murder charge, so I'm leaving for Venice immediately. Yes, sir. Oh, one other thing. Request ONI to send me the identity of the top enemy agent in North Italy. Right away, sir. Oh, Admiral, can you get Lee... Can you get Captain Crane out of there? I don't know. I wish I did. Lee may be dead for all we know, but I'm gambling that he's not. That's why I'm going into Venice openly. You'll be recognized in no time flat. Well, the sooner the better. If I can't find Crane, then he has to find me. Are you going alone, sir? No, I need uh, two men. Is there anybody on board that can write music? Uh, Stu Riley can. <laughs> I might have known. If you call that music, it's that surfer stuff. Quality doesn't matter, just as long as you can write the notes down. Alert him, and uh, I'll need someone to take us in on the flying sub. Chief Sharky can handle that. I'll see you at once. Admiral. Yes? Miss Hale calling from the Institute. Coming. Unscramble. Got anything, Miss Hale? Yes, sir. A report from ONI. They have information on an enemy agent who's supposed to be making his headquarters right in Venice somewhere. Oh, who is he? His cover name is Count Staglioni, but the jet set types call him Ferdy. Ferdy? That doesn't sound very imposing, does it? Don't be fooled, sir. ONI says he's dangerous. You are to use extreme caution. Repeat, extreme.
Venice. The only great city in the world that can be completely cut off from the outside. He's trapped, framed and trapped, holed up in there. But where? A hundred canals, a thousand alleyways. We'll land in the Adriatic, beyond the islands. Commence a merge. Antonio, I never cease to be staggered by your prices. We try to please. Admiral Nelson approaches along the Via Margarita. He's about to enter the square. And Giulietta? With him. Molto bene. Sector 2 search completed. Results negative. Sector 4, investigating report of a tall man who may be American was seen lurking in the district late last night. We'll report again on this in transmission. How about sitting over here? Ready, my dear, what a surprise. And for me too, cara Giulietta. Oh, I have a better surprise for you. This is a very famous American gentleman, Admiral Harriman Nelson, my friend Count Staglione. My dear Admiral, I am honored. Please sit down, join me. Mm -hmm. I really have much time. I insist, come, join me. Antonio. I had no idea Venice is such a distinguished visitor. You are here long? Just a brief holiday. I plan to see the sights and uh, relax a bit. He wanted to go to the casino, and here we meet you. Ah, but you must not waste an evening at the old casino. Ferdy runs the new casino. It's much smarter. All the really important people pay them out. <laughs> you must visit it before you leave, Amiral. Oh, no drone, per favore. Bourbon and soda. Bourbon and soda. This will admit you to the Salpre Day at the casino. So much more intimate. Thank you. You're enjoying Venice. Well, let's say I find it stimulating. I can imagine. Undoubtedly, your friends here. But it's sometimes rather difficult to know just who your friends are. <laughs> How true. But I find the natives friendly. <laughs> so I see. Now, Ferdy, you must not monopolize the Admiral because we were getting on so well. Ah, yes. You must not permit me to spoil your fun. <laughs> but do try to visit my casino, will you, Admiral? Yes, you must, and I will be there tonight. Well, in that case, I'll make a point of it. Good. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Arrivederci, Anira. Ciao, Juliet. Ciao.
police believe the young man was struck by at least one of their bullets and may be forced to seek medical attention. The fugitive would appear to be doomed, since Venice is the only major city which can be sealed off from the outside world. With a single bridge to the mainland guarded, and with all boat operators warned, capture of the unidentified American is seemingly a matter of hours. got a panic going, sir. It seems some joker knocked one of their men in the canal. Where? The same landing where the murder gondola was stashed. Well, it has to be Crane. They didn't catch him. No, sir, not even close. The skipper's really got him bugged. Well, all the reports seem to be coming from the Piazza San Marco area. That's the place where I met the Count. Well, that was one break anyway. You get picked up by a beautiful girl, and she happens to know this count. Breaks had nothing to do with it. The lovely young lady in question was on the prowl looking for me. So I let her find me and take me to the count. It's always safer to let the mouse think he's running the show. Well, I hope you did the right thing, Admiral, because this count character doesn't sound like anybody you can be playing around with. He's no more dangerous than a cornered cobra, Chief. <laughs> She was killed with a poison tip blade just like this one. Who ordered you to kill her? Talk, or say, help me, I'll snap it off. Where's Captain Crane? Talk! He's up on him, Chief. Crane's alive, I'm sure of that now, but somebody's afraid I'll get to him first. That's why you came here to kill me, isn't it? Don't cop out on us, Buster. Never mind, Chief. Let him go. Let him go? Let him go! You get out of here, eh? Before I kill you. Come on. He should have... should have let us clobber him, Admiral. Tell him, Chief. Report to me the minute he contacts somebody. Anybody. I accept. Number 14 reports Sector 5 clear, moving to Sector 6. Oh, yes. Uh, a specific pattern emerges. We are... Closing in on our American friend. His hours are very definitely numbered.
understand. Come in, Ann. Admiral? Come in, Ann. Over. Come in, Ann. Over. Our friend went straight to a gambling casino on Via Margarita. Is he there now? Negative. He stayed for about 20 minutes. Then came out and crossed St. Mark's Place. What do I do now? You come back here and stay with Riley. I'm going to the casino as soon as it opens. Casino, sir? That's right. I'm going to do a little gambling. There's nobody else I can turn to. There's nothing I can do to help you, You're senora. being paid by American intelligence, aren't you? That's a drop, not as an agent. I'm a simple shopkeeper. Is it a question of money? Well, everything is a question of money, senora. All right. I'll see that you're paid double. <laughs> now, Admiral Nelson is supposed to be in Venice. I must reach him. Double, senora. Remember yes. that. Yes, double. Go on. Admiral Nelson is at the Hotel Dandolo. Dandolo? Where's your phone? No, 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 no phone. The wire will be tapped. Where's your phone? There. Oh, uh, the number is Mar. M-A-R. Six, two, nine, four. Oh, be prepared to hang up quickly, huh? Yes, I see. Yes. Uh, keep it talking as long as you can. I will retrace it. An American calling Nelson at the Dandor. Stand by, I'm going to need you. Pronto? Pronto? Uh, are they ringing him? I think so. It's, it's taking a long time. Well, it's an old trick. They stole. They keep you on the line while they trace the call. Oh, uh, listen, Bellini. I, uh, I need somebody to, uh, to write music notes, and I need them now. Well, uh, I, I know of no one who can be trusted. For triple the money. To write music, no. To play music, yes. Will that help? All right. How long, uh, will it uh, take you to get them here? Oh, not very long. Good. You see, I... Rien ne va plus, monsieur. 
Les 27, la rouge, un peu les passes. Merci, madame. My stars, are all those mine? Yeah. It's that Dolce Vita, Miss Harmon. A nice story to tell when you get back home. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux, mesdames et messieurs. Rien ne va plus. Rien ne va plus. Amira Nelson, good evening. Delighted to come to my casino. I was under the impression that I had a uh, date. Juliette, uh, she hasn't arrived. Uh, something important on that of the detained. Uh, no matter, enjoy yourself at the table. For you, there is no limit. Le 36, rouge, père et passe. Merci, monsieur. Congratulations. You have been extraordinarily lucky, Amiro, so far. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux. Faites vos jeux, monsieur, et monsieur. Mesdames et messieurs. You know what to do. Signore, he has no English, but I explained everything to him. He will do a very fine job. Oh, I wish I didn't have to depend on him. But they're watching every move the Admiral makes. I can't get anywhere near him. I've got to trust you, Bellini. Signore, I've given you shelter. I find you a fine musician. <laughs> you can trust me with your life for triple pay. Bye, bye. Come each other, so I... Buonasera, signorina. Buonasera. Unless you scream. Now, if I take my hand away, will you keep quiet? All right, I warned you. Uh, what do you want? I'm in trouble. I need your help. I'm American. You're the one the police are looking for. Yes. You're a murderer. No, but I'm having a little trouble making anyone believe that. I saw you leaving with Admiral Nelson tonight. You know him? He's, he's my boss. My name's Crane. Commander Lee Crane of the submarine, save you. I don't believe you. Why didn't you speak to the Admiral? He's being watched at every second. I've got to reach him, and that's how you can help me. Will you? I, I don't know. 
How, how can I believe you? Now listen, I've got no no right to ask this of you, but but I I I'm desperate, and there's no other way. Now, are, are you willing to take a risk? And believe me, it's a real risk to do something that's vitally important to your country. Oh, you're making fun of me. Do I look like I'm making jokes? No. All right. Will you help me? What do you want me to do? All right. Just memorize a little tune. I want you to go to Admiral Nelson and sing it to him. I can't. You mean you won't? I can't. I, I'm tone deaf. Oh. All right. And now, we'll have to do it the hard way. Now, I hope you've got a good memory. You're going to need it. I'll get this straight. Admiral Nelson. Well, you remember me, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yes, a uh, school teacher from Ohio, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Harmon. Betty Harmon. I can't tell you how I enjoyed the gambling last night. Do you gamble often, Admiral? More than I should, I'm afraid. Please, won't you, won't you sit down? Thank you. You know, being a tourist is hard work. I've been sightseeing all day. The signorina wishes to order? Oh, uh, yes, I am thirsty. Would it be possible to get some kind of a soft drink? Uh, limonata. Si, senor. I, uh, I even went shopping. Let me show you. The, uh, I thought it was a stork, but the shopkeeper assured me it was a genuine crane. Go on. Well, I, I was fascinated. The crane was damaged a little, the, the left wing, but nothing serious. I couldn't resist it. Its expression is so, so... Desperate, don't you think? Where could I find a crane like this? Well, it's the cutest little place called Bellini's. And the address is 64 Calle del Lombardo. When do they open? Uh, well, that's the funniest part. Ordinarily, not during the day. It was just an accident that I found it. I'm told the best time to go is after dark. Say, oh, around 11 p.m. Will they be open tonight? Yes, definitely tonight. Well, I thought you'd be interested. I am, believe me. Una limonata. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I don't think I'm thirsty after all. I still have so many other things to see, and time has a way of racing by. It certainly does. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Miss Harmon, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your visit here. Thank you. Oh, I suppose in Venice I should say grazie. No, I'm the one who should say grazie. Commander Morton. Chip, we've made contact with Lee. Now we have to get him out of Venice. So Chief Sharkey is picking him up at exactly 2,300 hours, and we'll bring him to the Seaview in the flying sub. What about you, Admiral? Will you be aboard with him? Negative. They're watching every move I make. I'm the uh, decoy in this operation. All right, sir. We'll be expecting a Chief and Lee shortly after 2,300 hours. Very well, end transmission.
Sit down, Riley. Are you picking up anything from the casino on your monitor? No, sir. Just a couple of cleaning women early this morning. Nothing else. Hope you didn't go all that sweat last night for nothing. I mean, planting that bug in there. Maybe the casino isn't their headquarters. I still think it is. You keep monitoring. <sighs> yes, sir. Uh, just one thing, Admiral. This uh, little bird that gave you the message from the skipper. Uh, can you trust her? Betty Harmon? With my life. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. I regret your chosen to make it difficult for us and, and for yourself. No matter. <laughs> my friend here has a syringe filled with a rather exotic chemical known as amine trioxidase. You will soon tell us anything we want to know. No, no. Can we get her out? Not a chance, not yet. This needs a complete change of plans. I'll contact Seaview with new orders. Meanwhile, I want you to go to this address. Captain Crane is there. Get him aboard the flying sub and back to the Seaview. Now, they're expecting me to go for them, so if you move fast, you should get away with it. Aye, aye, sir. Take off. Well, Chief? It's up to us to dream up some way of keeping our friends here occupied. Stay here until 11 o'clock? Oh, no, no. I, I don't know. But it's less than three hours. I can't dodge around the streets any longer. I realize, but what if you've already been spotted? Uh, perhaps follow. If they'd spotted me, I wouldn't be here. I'd be dead. All right. You may stay. But... <laughs> Captain Crane, we've been looking all over Venice for you. Special equipment. Oh, stashed away in every pocket. We just got time to get to the casino before it opens. Uh, are you sure you know how to do the rigging? Gimmick a wheel? Admiral, I had a very rich and full childhood. Good. If we're going to have to rely on surprise and confusion. We hope to get that girl out of her alive. Uh, have you got everything? Y yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> Zero. That'll make the connection. And that'll trigger the smoke bomb. In the confusion, we can free the school teacher. How much longer? All set. 
All right, let's get out of here. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm flattered to find you're going to wait until the casino opens. I assume that we're your prisoners. You are. I won't try anything if I were you. I have ample manpower. All well armed. What do you hope to accomplish by holding us? After all, you're a professional agent. You should know when you're beaten. Beaten, Amiro? And how do you arrive at the conclusion? Crane was the man you had to stop, not me. By now, he's aboard the sea view and out of your reach. Really? Julieta? Ego is a little bit bruised, but that's all. We clobbered him, Admiral. Then we ran outside into a whole flock of them and <sighs> wipe out. And may I compliment you and your men on your resourcefulness? On happy, it has gained you nothing. The little tune that is so important to all of us is still locked in the good captain's head. Am I right? No, perhaps you are, but uh, that doesn't do either one of us any good. I doubt if Captain Crane is in the mood to sing. Uh, perhaps not. But the tune will be of great importance to us, you know. Or were you aware that we do possess a copy of the lamented Dr. Leonetti's cryptic tape? That's why we prefer to capture the good captain. We are most anxious to decode the tape ourselves. I'm afraid you can't. Not without the tune. Mm, captain Crane's will sing, just as your young lady did with the aid of a little shot of uh, amine trioxidase. Oh, wait, wait a minute, sir. I suppose it's a foregone conclusion that none of us will get out of here alive. Uh, it's a fair statement. Uh, I regret it must include the school teacher, poor little thing. <laughs> but she knows far too much now. You understand, don't you? Perfectly. Since we're all condemned to die, I'd like to make one last request. All right. Well, as a, as a gambling man, you must be familiar with the old superstition that a condemned man invariably has luck in gambling. Well, do you feel lucky? <laughs> Hardly, but uh, I'd like to try one turn at the wheel. You have nothing to lose, I have nothing to gain. But we might test the superstition. And why should I agree? Because you have an inquisitive mind? Because you're a gambler. Are you tempted? One play, that's all. That's all. It could be amusing. Very well, Amiro. Faites vos jeux. My number is zero. Congratulations, Admiral. 
Is Lee all right? He's fine, Miss Hale. See for yourself. Hi, Lola. Are you in the mood to listen to a little music? What happened to your arm? A music critic? A little respect for the artist, please. Get your tapes ready, Lola. This is the tune that caused all the trouble. La, 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 la. La 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 la